Hello ladies and gentlemen, James here. I hope you're doing well. Well, I'm about to show you some images that you might not know about this, but you recognize, you probably recognize these guys, right? Let me bring a little closer. You recognize this guy, right? Chris Angel, right? Call himself Chris Angel. Oh, excuse me. He calls himself Chris Angel. So why I'm showing you these images of Chris Angel? Well, I'm about to take you to something before I show, take you to the, bring you to the present. This ought to get your attention. So, so here's Chris Angel. And he does magic tricks, right? He levitates up off the air. He does things supernatural. So you recognize this, right? You see him on TV. And you know this guy is, right? Here's another guy. You that you know. David Copperfield. So you know that's, that's David Copperfield. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Get a good picture in my camera of him. Oh shit. Is David is David Copperfield? Is this what David Copperfield looked like? And the next person you're probably familiar with is David Blaine. I can get him up here, but Chris, so far, I can get, so far, I can, I can only get uh, David Copperfield, Chris Angel. So, what does these gentlemen have in common? They got come with these gentlemen over here. They got in common with what they did back in Egypt. And this was their magicians. And this is a time during the time of the Pharaoh, the Pharaohs, and this is their magicians right over here, right alongside of them. Um, and it's probably like, why? Why is this being shown? Well, because during that time of the pharaohs, they, they even though they were able to tar tap into dark power, but and this gives you a couple of idea what the what the pictures of, because sometimes you know there's some people they don't. They don't like to read the Bible. Sometimes you gotta see, show pe people that are pictures. And this is where they try to say, God, who gives the anointing to do the things like Moses did, 
they call him they call him a sorcerer and other people but we know that's the spirit of God doing that and he gave his son Jesus to do that but, but during the time of Jesus they, they label him as a sorceress this is the picture of Simon this is a picture of Simon you can see that picture that's Simon right there this is a picture of Simon the fall of Simon this is a statue of Simon the sorceress during the time of an the rise and fall of Simon the fall of rise of Simon and, and people know about the story about Simon the magician this is his pictures and they had this is like some old paintings of it Simon versus Peter these are these are some some rel, rel, relics of it from old ancient times so And of course, these are that part where the snakes were Moses and his brother um, Aaron, and when you know what the when they threw down the staff and the staff turned to a snake, and then they 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 turned their the magicians did did there and the, the greater power that was Moses overcame the magicians' power with the snakes. some old pictures of it now let's see if there's any videos of it you better be careful because there's a lot of these at YouTube okay now we're gonna sh show you what the Bible said about it Yeah, according to so let's go to this chapter forty four verses twenty five. He makes the magicians like look ridiculous and turns fortune tellers into jokes. He makes the experts the trivia of knowledge look silly. According to okay. According to forty four and twenty five the text go the high heavens sing God done it D deep earth shout you you mountain singing forest chores of oaks pines and cedars God has redeemed Jacob God's glory is on display in Israel God is your redeemer you shaped your life with your mother's womb said I am God I made all that is no help from you I spread out the skies and laid out the earth he makes the magicians look ridiculous and turns and turns fortune tellers into jokes. He makes the expert look look trivia and their latest knowledge look silly. But he backs the word with his servant and confirms the counsel and his messengers. And he said to Jerusalem, be inhabited to the cities of Judah, be rebuilt in into ruins, I'll raise you up. And and he he said to Yoshes, Dry up, I'm dry, drying up your rivers. So that's the passage of, of the Bible that, that comes out of Isaiah 45, 44 and 25, King James Version. Um, let's 
so this gives you a good idea this tells you about Egypt what was the meaning of the purpose of the ten plagues of Egypt I just saw something that 